So yesterday class, everyone understand, right? What is parametration, how to we can do? So now in parametration, we have some properties will be there. So today we can discuss those properties, okay? So these are the properties. We have the properties sequential, random, unique. Sequential, random, unique, and same line as some other parameter. So we have the sequential, random, unique. What is sequential? Every user has to pick first user data point. Yes, sequential nothing but every user has to pick the first data point. And what is the random? It will pick any value, any different values. Any value randomly, sir. Yes, random nothing but just random property means it will randomly pick any of the value. So, as same to the uh, unique means? Unique stands for every user has to pick the first unused data point. Okay, so each iteration, what each is each iteration? Iteration. Update the values in every iteration. Update the values in each iteration. Occurrence means update the values in each occurrence. And once means user will pick the once means it will continue for the next all iterations. Okay, so now we can check with the one by n. First one will be sequential each iteration. Sequential stands for every user has to pick the first data point. For example, see, I will open for print. So username and password will be there. So is a one and two and three and four will be usernames, okay? And password will be from A and B and C and D. So this is the sequential each iteration. Sequential each iteration. This is the first iteration. So what is the iteration? Iteration nothing but our entire business flow is a iteration. Means for example, launch, login, flight booking, and payment. These are all things we can consider as a one iteration. So second iteration means what will happen? Again, it will start for the launch, login, flight booking, and iteration. Means each iteration means first user and password, first iteration, what are the values speaking? So yesterday we seen, right? Jojo bean one, first iteration time it's speaker. Second iteration time, Jojo one, bean one is speaker. So same like this for here. Sorry. So, Sequential each iteration. Sequential stand for every user pick the first data point. First will be work with the sequential. What will happen is every user pick the first data point. And this user also will pick the first data point. This user also pick the first data point. And this user also pick the, the first data point. This is the sequential stand for. Iteration nothing but all that will happen in second iteration. So in the second iteration time, what will happen again, username and password will be there. Okay. And same thing, one, two, three, four will be there. And what will happen? A, B, and C, and D. So second iteration means every user has to pick the first data point. Already is a sequential each iteration. First two already data point, one data point already done. So next time what will pick? B will pick. First user will pick the B. And while second user also will pick the B. And third user also 
will pick the B and fourth is also pick the B. Means every iteration means iteration nothing but is updating for the values. So first time A is updated and second time B and third iteration anyone guess? Pavani? C sir. So every user has to pick the C. Means first user pick the C means third iteration it will go. Fourth iteration what will happen? Same thing. Uh, D which it which one will pick first user will pick the D means all user will pick the pick the D. So this is for the sequential each iteration. Okay, got it right. The next uh, we'll go into the sequential occurrence. Okay, uh, S O means sequential occurrence. What is sequential stand for? First thing. Again, first will work sequential. Sequential nothing but what is sequential? Every user has to pick the first first, first value. First value. So first iteration, all users will be the first value. So, but second iteration time, what will happen means it will occurrence means it will update for the every user. So first user will pick the B. Okay. Second user will pick the C and third user will pick the D. This is the occurrence means values updating for the every iteration, every occurrence. This is called occurrence. So uh, everyone understand sequential occurrence, okay? And uh, so uh, maybe next time what will happen? Already B also completed. C will pick this, this one. D will pick the this one. Second iteration. Third iteration time what will happen? One will pick the D, and remaining we don't have values. So like this, it will work for the sequential occurrence. Occurrence means update for the values for every iteration. Every iteration, it will updating for the values. This is called sequential occurrence. Now we can see the sequential once property. Again, sequential once property, username and password. And username I'm giving for the A. B and C and D and one two some X from Y. Okay. Now what is the our property sequential once? Sequential once first address. Okay, sequential once first iteration. What will happen? What is the sequential? What is sequential? What is the first data point? A will be the first yeah. data point, and B also pick the first, first data point. C also pick the same, first. and D also pick the same. This is the sequential once, right? Once what will happen? Second iteration time also will pick the same values. Means first time will be user will pick the one means next all iteration will pick the one, 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 one means second iteration also will pick the one and the third iteration, nth iteration means how many values we have number of iteration, 100 iteration also every user has to pick the one only for this is called sequential once. Got it right? Yes, so this is for the sequential story and uh, random each iteration next to will be random each iteration uh, random nothing but what is the random values will pick the randomly any of the values for here Okay, so for here random. So what will happen random? Maybe A will pick the two and B also will maybe pick the two also. And C will pick the one and D will pick the three. So randomly it will pick for any values. Then next iteration time what will happen? Next iteration maybe A will pick the four also. Four. 
means random it pick anything b will pick this two or c will pick the three and d will pick the two so it is will pick the further randomly that is further random story for random each iteration so random so now we'll see the in our script we can simulate also we need to see for the how the users will picking so now which one sequential each iteration so now you can come to simulate and give for the four iterations and four four users four iteration you can simulate now we can observe first user pick the joe and all users will pick the which value is picked jojo 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 means this is for the sequential each iteration means sequential stand for every user pick the first data point okay mm -hmm. and iteration nothing but it is update for the value so now you can observe jojo next time will be jojo one next time will be jojo two jojo three means each iteration it is updating for the values this is for the sequential each iteration okay and going to the sequential each occurrence already we discussed right for here we, we can't simulate because it is update values here will be not will show so that is why we are unable to see this one now you can see this sequential ones again and click on once so now we can observe first user will pick the jojo and the second iteration also jojo third iteration also jojo fourth iteration also jojo means every user first user pick the jojo means all iterations number of iterations you can give for the 100 iterations also every user has to pick the jojo for this is for the sequential ones and now we can go with the random random each iteration and go to here click on simulate now you can observe user one pick the jojo user two pick the jojo one jojo two jojo three and second iteration you can time you can observe so means randomly it will pick for the any value it is picking that is called for the random okay got it right random yes, so sir. random once also you can observe once again see random ones you can observe if it is random also so once property first iteration time what are the values it is picked all iterations it will picking for the same values you can observe jojo jojo one kiran one two three jojo one jojo and same iteration two iteration three iteration four also same values is picking so this is for the random first thing will be randomly picking for the values and it will continue for the all the iterations that is the random ones then going to the unique ones unique each iteration will go first see you can observe when we are selected unique each iteration at that time we can see for the sum here drop downs but uh, sequential random we are not seeing these options but unique we have these options about the user means it will be the last value to it will about the user continue the cyclic manner means it will be repeat the values if you want to continue with last value means only last value to it will end for the this thing so you need select for anyone and we need to simulate now click on this so now you can observe uh, first user will pick the jojo and second user pick the kiran 1 2 3 and second user time means user 3 we don't have data that is why it will not showing any value so user 1 again next iteration time what will happen unused data point only it will pick for the every time unique stand for every user has to pick the unused data point so for example uh, we will see the here then you can little bit understand okay again username and password will be there and uh, a and b and c and d will be there okay and here will be some x value will be there and y and one one will be there okay now this is for the unique unique stand for every user has to pick the first unused data point 
see for example recharge card will be there so previous we can uh, recharge cards will be right 50 card and 100 card so we can recharge once we can use it means we can't use for the next time right so that is why it will work for the unique property unique means every user has to pick the unused data point so first a user a user which is the unused data point x x so we will pick the x because already it is used this card mm -hmm. is already used so b will pick the x no so b will no, be which right. value it will be there is unused data right. point y and c which value is there z d is a one so like this it will pick for the unique property unique property nothing but every user has to pick the first unused data point okay then going to here uh you can close this okay so you can give for the change for the ones property you can observe ones property also so now you can observe once property what will happen every user pick the first data point first unique will work was to try it. every user pick the first data point once property what will happen every iteration will be same values will pick the for the all iterations in or number of iterations also pick the same you can observe iteration one iteration two iteration three got it right yes yes sir so this is called for the uh, these are the properties we have sequential random unique and uh, each iteration each occurrence and once so you can go through the material and you can read it what is the each iteration each occurrence the diagrammatical also will be there how i showed right in paint so everything will be there you need to observe for the how the value is picking you need to observe things so based on the requirement we need to select this ones okay now we have the one more option will be there that will be same line as some other parameter so same line as some other parameter means when we can use means for example dependency will be there for example username password will be depends on the which one username yes, yes right so it's a uh, password will be depends on the username and first name also is uh, depends on the which one username and last name also it is depends on the username and uh, address one also it is depends on the username so it is a dependent will be there we can use for the same line as some other app parameter so now i will show you how we can do for means uh, So I'm regenerating script. Okay. Regenerating means uh, it will come as a uh, starting. We are not done anything, right? So same thing. It will come here. Now you can do for the parameterization. So as of now, we didn't for the, that is also parameterization, we can do it, but we can do for the complex parameterization means I will show you how to do for complex parameterization. Now you can select for the same thing, replace with parameter and create new parameter and you need to give for the parameter name. What is the parameter name? User, User name param. User name param. And click on properties. Uh, I think same name we are giving a uh. okay no problem okay so we'll change name username param same value same will be there right okay I am giving for the username okay click on properties now we can observe username param and create table and click on okay so Jojo came 
okay so after that you can close it and click on okay same how we done same we are doing now and again now bean will be there replace with parameter create new parameter now what is that password i'm giving as a pwd shortcut pwd and properties and don't click on create table here complex parameterization how we will do means first you need to select for the username only this is the right hour you can select username and after that you can here you able to see right add column will be there you can click on add column everyone able to see click on add column see it will come for the column name password means it will come by Beside username, password, first name, last name, it will come like this. This is the complex parameterization. So now you can observe password is the bin. Yes. And you need to select here same how we selected previous. You need to select for the password. And now here you need to select for the dependence value. What is dependent value? Password will be depending on the which one? same line as username so now now no need to give for this sequential random these things when you are doing for the complex parameterization you don't need to give for this here now you can give it as a same line as username and click on close and click on okay and on this no so username and password is completed now again you can go to this where we can what are the values we can do first name last name also right you can select this one and uh, this with parameter and create new parameter and give it as a name as a f name means first name. what is that distance so now again you need to select for the which one we need to select dependent value what is the dependent value username yes. every time you can select that only so now again you need to click on add column and first name it will be add so again by name you need to select for the first name and here you need to select for the same line as username username Click on OK and click on OK and all this. So same like this, you can do for the all things. Create new parameter and uh, L name, nothing but last name and properties. And we need to select for the username dot file, username dot file and click on add column and click on OK. And here by name, you need to select for the which value you are doing last name. You can select last name. And here we need to select for the same line as username. 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 Yeah. And click on close. Click on OK. And always no. And address one you are doing means you can click on this. And uh, now can replace with parameter, create new parameter. And what we are doing, address one, right? You can go for the address one and uh, properties. And which one we need to select? Our user name that. Mm -hmm. Then click on add column. Mm -hmm. Click on OK. And we need to select for the name of this one. Which one? Address. Mm -hmm. So address one. And here we need to select for the same line as user. Mm -hmm. Click on close and click on OK. And always no. So next will be address to create new parameter and you need to give for the address to. address to same thing we can do it add column and address to and you can select here also what value we are doing address to can select address to dependence value will be username same line as username click on close and click on close okay and now now we can do for the passenger name passenger replace with parameter create new parameter and give it as a 
passenger one and create parameter and select for the username dot and click on add column click on ok and select for this passenger one and uh, here you need to select for the username param and click on close and click on ok and always no and the last one will be uh, credit card replace with parameter and create new parameter and give it as a cc nothing but credit card here you need to select for the username and add column click on ok and now we can select here will be credit card cc and here you need to no. So, like this, we can do for the complex parameterization. So, understand right? Complex parameterization, how we done? Yes. Yes, sir. So, now it is a dependent value will be there. Now, you need to add data means we can add the data here. So, enter here and Jojo1, comma, Jojo2. So you can give for the data like this. You need to give for the what are yesterday you prepared, right? Those that also you can give it here. Okay. So everyone understand, right? This one. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, so as same too, you can do one more thing. So for this username dot file will be there, right? It will saved in this location. Uh, where it is there in our script location it will, will be there you can go to the script and what is our script name web door flight booking and the date will be uh, 0803 right you can go to the folder in the script flight booking 08 this is right here, uh, what is the name we are given? Username, right? Username. See, username for this. Uh, no, no, username only we are given, right? This is the username. So, this is our parameter file name, right? You can, uh, this one, what will happen means you can open with selective open with and select more apps. Okay, for now you can open with Notepad. Okay. Okay, now you want to add data, means what you can do means you can file and save as a dot csv. You can save all files, select all files, and here dot csv file. Uh, where it is saving, same place it is saving, right? Back to flight booking. Okay. Now we can close this and uh, go to here. Uh, username, see, this is the dot CSV format I open right now. You can open this. This is the Excel format will be there. Now, what you can do, you can copy uh, what are the data is there, right? You have already uh, uh, recorded, right? You are keep the in Excel sheet, right? Same thing, you need copy and paste it, and you need to import it. It will be import will be there here will be browse will be there right you can go to here and once you can uh, enter the data you can select all files means csv file also it will show so, so username select this one import it <coughs> this is a csv file it is open right so what are the data you saved? All data will be it will come here if you enter anything. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sir. So, but you can check for the properties. Uh, okay, address one same line user one will be there or not, and address one same line user and CC. You need to check for these details. Okay, and uh, this will be the okay. first name, same line username, and uh, last name, same line username. And passenger one username password password param you need to select for the same name username. I think password that will be different, right? You can only select. 
this one we can done for the previous right username also i will remove can remove also will be there so now passenger one okay and pass, password will be same line as the username will be sequential each iteration so uh, the username field will be check line zero check file format okay so now you can add the data and you can import also possible that is why i show for here okay now you can add the data what are the data you copied right yesterday already i told right you need to prepare the data so the data you need to enter here and you need to import using for the browse click on browse and you need to import it it will be automatically save in our script location only it will save you can go and check that one okay yes. so you can import file means you can like this you can import it and you can use it okay. so everyone got it right how to we can do for the complex parameterization as same to the normal parameterization also so and what is sequential and what is the unique and what is the random what is the unique each iteration random each iteration random ones unique ones so these all things you need to go with the uh, material and read it and practice okay yes. okay so anyone have any doubts regarding this pasha pavani Sorry, Basha. Our voice. Credit card. Credit card. Uh, credit. Sir, credit card details. It is showing some. It is can't open like this one. Pop up error is showing, sir. Yeah, yeah. For that, uh, it is not picking for the particular column. So you need to uh, give for the proper name for that. Okay, sir. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. okay and uh, today assignment will be uh, everyone can record the script and uh, do the complex parameterization and keep the data what are the data yesterday i gave and write assignment 30 is a data you can keep this one and you need to uh, run the test like uh, you can execute and uh, same to the um, you can prepare for the sequential iteration these things so tomorrow i will ask for the interview for this all questions up to parameterization maximum one scripting announcements completed we are we are fully completed with the uh, para parameterization concept will be finished so you should be prepared well and you are same to practice well okay and so uh, i am giving for today assignment One more assignment I'm giving. See, previous we recorded for the flight booking application, right? Now you guys to record with the sign up yes. now. Click on after uh, launch the application, click on sign up now and enter for username and password and these all details click on continue okay okay click on continue and log out so only this scenario can record so i will show you again if you confusing okay kiran 747 okay First time, so these things will be yesterday you done for manually, right? Now you guys to record script. Got it right? 
record step click on continue and after that again click on continue and sign up just you can do these steps once you can record the script you can do for the parameterization for all the values okay and after that you need to give for the data which data so for example kiran 6747 i given next time 6748 will be there so that will be we are not registered see you can observe uh, kiran 6747 and password also i given same thing okay click here see it is like successfully login but i want for the uh, your script will work with the find means you need to prepare data and it will work for example next time you are keep the in data given uh, 6748 control s and click on login so it is a fail because we are not registered so for this data you need to keep the in the uh, like parameter list okay in the parameter list you need to keep and see for example next line you need to keep as a what are values you are doing parameterization you can keep and uh, so which data is not login right you need to give for that data you can give like okay, create a 10 user data whatever may be like jojo1 jojo2 bean1 bean2 so those data you need to prepare here you can execute 